challenges, challenges, challenges. As an international student in any country, you face many challenges. Now there are many perks of studying abroad, but it comes also with few challenges as an international student, regardless of the country you are choosing to study. So in this video, we're going to discuss about some of the challenges you might face as an international student in Australia and how to overcome them. Without further wasting any time, let's get started. These challenges are based on many overseas students' experience so you might find these challenges common as well in your life when you're coming to study in Australia. Now we are not saying that you will face these challenges for sure, but you might come across some of these challenges as most of these challenges are faced by many international students like yourself. Now we divided these challenges into three main categories. So the first challenge we're going to discuss is related to your studies. Now when you are planning to study in any other country, it's common that you will see some differences between the education system and that can create some sort of challenges for you as an international student in a new country. So the challenges could be regarding your homework, your assessment. So maybe that you are facing a difficulty in understanding some of the concepts or there are challenges related to understanding the referencing or plagiarism. Now because of the language or different accent, sometimes it is very difficult for international students to understand their lecturers or trainers or tutors. And we have seen that some students that they don't understand their concepts and study well, they plan to change their courses after a while because it's too hard for them or it's too challenging for them to do that sort of a course. Now, if you are facing challenges in regards to your studies, there is help available for that. Now, Australian education system does support people who are having some learning difficulties here. So usually universities or institutions in Australia have a really good support system available for those students who are finding it difficult to study here. So if you are facing any difficulty in regards to your studies, we suggest you to contact the support office from your educational institute. They can sometimes arrange additional help like tutorials or other lectures that can help you to understand the concepts better. And we also suggest you to make sure that you attend all your lectures and tutorials without skipping them. So you understand the concepts better. Also, after the lecture or the tutorial is finished, go up to your lecturer or trainer or tutor. You can basically thank them for the lecture or the tutorial that you just attended and then ask them general questions regarding your studies. It's a good idea to speak to your lecturer or tutor regarding the industry you are studying in and it's a good starting point for you to start networking with the right people in your industry. Usually your lecturers or tutors are professionals in industry in Australia so you can make your first contact in industry by approaching your lecturers or tutors. Even though I finished my study around 12 years ago, I am still in touch with most of my lecturers or tutors. The second challenge you might face will be in regards to your work. Now finding work in Australia as an international student is a really difficult task. And it's not only one student who has said that many international students face the same difficulty. So the best way to find the first work in Australia is through referrals. So if you have someone who's already working in any industry, if they can refer you to the job, it's much easier to get a job then. So to find out work, our suggestion would be to seek out some help from the people who you already know. And if you don't know anyone, then you need to network with other people and try to find a job through referrals. Although I'm not saying that's the only way of getting a job in Australia, there are actually plenty of other ways of getting a job as well. And if you haven't checked that, we got a video of 9 ways of finding work in Australia as an international student. So make sure to check that video out. We'll put the link in the description of that video as well. There could be some other challenges you face in regards to your work life. For example, the work culture. Obviously, the work culture in your country could be quite different to the work culture here in Australia. And again, understanding the language of your co-workers, of your managers or even customers can be challenging for you at the beginning, especially if you don't speak English that well. Now, in regards to adjustment to the work culture and language, it will take few weeks and months, but you will be able to get hold of the things once you're here for a while. Now, unfortunately, some international students do face exploitation at work in Australia. Although it is illegal to exploit any worker in Australia, some businesses tend to exploit international students because of their visa limitations. Now, to deal with this sort of situation, we suggest you to first of all check Fair Work Australia's website, understand your work rights before you start working, and if you are getting exploited at work, make sure to reach out to Fair Work Australia as soon as possible. 
as there is help available for international students. And if you don't know how to approach them, we've got a video on that as well. So make sure to check that video out as well. And last but not the least, some of the challenges you might face as an international student in regards to the general life here. Now one of the biggest challenges you will face here is regarding your accommodation. Now as we know that finding accommodation can be also a bit challenging, especially if you are planning to look for a cheaper alternatives. So if you are planning to share an accommodation with other people, it can be a bit difficult first of all to find it. Especially if you are trying to find a budgeted accommodation, you probably have to share it with other people. And sometimes sharing house with other people can be as challenging as it gets. Now obviously every human being is different and everyone lives their life differently. Some of the challenges you might face in regards to your housemates could be regarding the way they're living the life, for example, their cleaning style or the cooking or some usage of the common areas. So to avoid that, we suggest you to communicate effectively and make rules from the beginning. So everyone knows what to do, what not to do from the start. It makes the things much, much easier. Now we got a video on how to be a good housemate as well. So we suggest you to check that out as well. Again, all the video links will be in the description below also. Now apart from accommodation, there could be other challenges you might face in general life here. So for example, understanding the rules, understanding the regulations, systems, and general manners and etiquettes. Some people might find it a bit challenging to understand these things. Now obviously you're gonna deal with local Australians here. So dealing with them means you have to understand their accent or slang. And sometimes it can be a bit challenging to understand that. Now we strongly recommend you to understand these rules, regulations and systems because the fines here are phenomenally high. So if you breach any sort of law here, you could be getting a penalty for that. So it's very important for you that you know these rules and regulations from the beginning. Now, if you're not sure about the rules and regulations here in Australia, we suggest you to attend the orientation that is provided by your educational provider. Usually they cover that sort of information in those orientation sessions. And if they don't cover that in that orientation session, you should also look for some information on the government websites as well. Another challenge that many international students face in regards to general life here is that they may find it difficult to manage the life study work balance as you will not only be studying but you will have to find a part-time work and you probably have to go and socialize with other people as well and managing all these three things at one time can be really really challenging now in order to overcome this situation we suggest you to make a weekly planner or a to-do list that will help you to keep track of the things and will help you to focus on the things that you need to complete each week so whether it's regarding meeting friends whether it's regarding your studies you will know all the deadlines and every important thing if you keep track and make plans for them one of the other challenge you're gonna face is homesickness so you will be away from your family and friends back home and most likely you're going to miss them which is very common among many international students here. So in regards to this challenge, what we suggest you to do is to make sure you keep in touch with your family and friends back home, call them regularly and update them about your personal life here, what's going on here as an international student, how's your life going, and ask them as well what's happening in their life. Especially with all the apps available these days, we can easily keep in touch with our family back home. And last but not the least is one of the biggest challenges that many international students face here in Australia is that they love Australia so much after their studies, they want to settle here for good. So getting a permanent residency is a big challenge for many international students. Although we always keep saying that the primary aim of the student visa is just to study here, but some students do become eligible to apply their permanent residency after their studies. So in regards to overcoming this challenge, we suggest you to make sure to choose your course wisely and contacting a registered migration agent who can help you with your future plans in regards to your study and planning to choose the right course for you. But we hope you find this information regarding some of the challenges that international students face here in Australia and some strategies on how to overcome them. If you have just arrived in Australia, what sort of challenges are you facing? We would love to hear your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, like this video and share it with your friends as well. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. And if you like this video, you're probably gonna like the video that's coming up on the screen right now.